Hey folks, I'm Walter, and news this morning, carnival going adults only? Hey folks, thanks for joining us, and before we talk about carnival, please, please, hit the subscribe button, click that little bell notification so that you'll know when we've got new episodes out for you. And especially if you haven't checked out the virtual cruises yet, it's a great way to get your cruise on between cruises. Now let's get on with Carnival. So John Heald is the Carnival brand ambassador and he posted on Facebook this morning. Hey, Carnival has always been a family cruise line, a proud family cruise line. But what if, let's just say what if, we take one ship and we convert it to adults only. And he defined that as 21 and over. Would you book and sail on an adults only carnival ship? And you can see the responses and I would love to get your response in the comments down below. Now, first of all, yes, I would absolutely support an adults only carnival ship. But you know, what I would rather see carnival do because you know, they have one of the largest fleets in the industry and they have a wide variety of types of ships. I would prefer to see them take select itineraries and say, okay, these are going to be adults only. So, you know, then you can try all the various classes of ships. You can go on different itineraries all over the world. And you know, every so often, like the Mardi Gras, these two sailings back to back, so you could do a 14 day cruise if you want to, but these two sailings will be 21 and over only. And then the celebration, and then the Vista, the horizon, the sunrise, the sunshine. Take all of the ships and just say, you know, let's do one or two sailings every so often and make them adults only. Obviously this is Carnival taking a look at what Virgin is doing and saying, okay, they are going 18 and over, they're selling, and they're, what they're selling is one, you know, there's no kids on the ship, but two, they're selling an elevated experience as well. You know, uh, higher end food, the drinks are included, the soft drinks anyway, the Wi-Fi is included, and you know, you don't have to worry about, oh, I can't say this, I can't do this because there's kids around. And of course that completely alters the entertainment. You don't have to wait till 11 p.m. to see the adults only comedy show. We can do adults only comedy all day long. We can do different kinds of games out by the pools. We can do different types of events all day long because there's no kids around. So we can be adults. You know, it would be more like a Las Vegas vacation, I'm sure. Now, I think the worst thing Carnival could do would be to take one of their oldest ships, you know, a ship that maybe hasn't been in dry dock for a while, definitely needs some TLC and say, hey, here you go. This is the adults only ship and it's not the best representation of what Carnival could be. So if they are going to take one of their older ships, I would hope, I would hope they would send it in the dry dock, retrofit it, clean it all up, eliminate all of the children's areas. You know, you could repurpose those as some cool little lounges and maybe bars or maybe exercise. And maybe you lean into exercise like what Virgin Voyages is doing. We really enjoyed sailing on the Carnival Mardi Gras. That was our very first experience sailing with Carnival. But there were a lot of kids and I, I don't really mind the kids. I mean, I had one incident where a kid just flat out ran into me and pretty much spilled all of my cocktail and I was paying a la carte. So <laughs> I lost $14 for that cocktail. But you know, I don't mind sailing with the kids, but I do really look forward to in a couple of weeks when we get on the Scarlet Lady and knowing that there will be absolutely no kids around and I don't have to watch what I'm saying. I don't have to watch what we're doing. We can have a little bit more fun during the day because the kids aren't there. So what do you think? I really, I, you know, you see these answers down below from John. Would you sail on a Carnival adults only cruise knowing that it's 21 and over? You know, Virgin is 18 and over, so Carnival would say, hey, we're gonna do 21 and over. So then they don't have to worry about any kind of drinking policies, right? But would you sail on a Carnival adults only? And do you think it should be one dedicated ship or should they just pick select itineraries across the cruise line? And then we can try out all kinds of ships. I would love to see this show up, say, by summer of 2023, select itineraries on the various ships. So, hey, thanks so much for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Hit the little bell icon so that you're notified of all the new stuff that we're putting out there. And thank you so much for your support.